Hey everyone and welcome back to Raccoon's Radio Ranch. In this video I'm going to tell you about the three different ham license classes and explain to you what you need to know to get started in ham radio plus a few more details. So let's get started. So you want to become a ham operator, but you say you don't know how to get started. Well don't worry, I'm going to help you out with that in this video. The first thing you need to know is that CB radio and GMRS are not the same thing as ham radio. So what's the difference? Well, for starters, they're all on different frequency ranges. For example, the CB is on 27 megahertz. GMRS is above 70 centimeters in the 462 to 467 megahertz range. And ham radio pretty much covers everything else. And although CB radio doesn't require you to have a license to talk on it, Ham radio and GMRS both do. At the time I made this video, the ham license exam fee was still only $15. And the GMRS fee was still $70. And the renewal for ham radio is still free. And although both licenses are good for 10 years, the ham license gives far more frequency privileges than the GMRS does, and for a lot less money. So how do you get your ham license? Well believe it or not, it's easier than you think. The first thing you need to know about are the three different license classes that are available. The first class is the technician class which is the first step in the licensing process. You study this book, pass the test, and you've made it past the first step. And then there's the general class, which is the second step in the licensing process, but this is your first introduction to the HF bands, which is a whole new world. And the last step is the amateur extra, or the extra class. So what's that mean for you? Well let me show you the band plan chart and explain it to you. This is the band plan chart for the US amateur radio bands. This is what ham operators use to know where they can and can't talk on the ham bands and it can be found on the ARRL's website. Just go to HTTP forward slash forward slash www.arrl.org and navigate through the website. Here you can find the sources you'll need to get started, such as finding an exam near you, upgrading to a general, upgrading to an extra. Finding a class near you, online practice exams, element credit, the exam question pools, the withdrawn questions, and even the resources for the disabled. Now, to get back to the band plan chart, you want to go up to the search bar, type in band plan and hit enter or go. When your page opens up you want to select US Amateur Radio Bands and a PDF will pop open showing a copy that you can download to your computer. Just click here. And now we'll talk about the band plan. The first thing we're going to do is look at the key. 
Here you can see the first letter of each license class currently being used on the ham radio airwaves. The first thing I'm going to tell you is that the novice and advanced classes are no longer available, but there are still operators using them, so you'll hear them when you're on the airwaves. These color bands show what modes are being used in what portion of each band. For example, on 10 meters, the frequency 28.000 to 28.300 is used for RTTY and data only, while 28.300 to 28.500 is where the novice and technician classes talk on sideband and 28.300 to 29.700 is where the extra class, advanced, and general classes can all talk on sideband. The higher your license, the more privileges you have. So now that you know how to get started, what equipment do you need? And where can you find it? A lot of new ham operators usually start off with what is called an HT or a handy talkie, what others would call a walkie talkie. These radios are great for beginners because they're easy to use and usually affordably priced. And you'll continue to use them even after you've upgraded your equipment. My first radio? was an ICOM ICV-8000, which I used with a 20 amp pyramid PS21KX power supply and a 2 meter copper J-pole antenna that was made by KB9VBR. And this setup worked great for me for a long time. In fact, I'm still using that same 2 meter J-pole that I bought 18 years ago. So where can you find new radio equipment? There are a few online stores such as Ham Radio Outlet and Gigaparts both of which I've bought ham radio equipment from over the years and was very happy with their service. You can also buy used equipment from other ham operators on sites like QTH.com and QRZ.com. And of course, there's always sites like eBay and Amazon too. And I'll put all of the links that I've mentioned in this video in the description area below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more content like this, then please click one of these two boxes. Thank you.